Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Physics Prince. My name is Deepak. I'm going to teach you all nine subjects of physical science in detail. My courses are absolutely free of charges. My courses are going to help the students who are preparing for CSIR, NET, GATE, NTA exam, PhD exam, SET exam, JEST, TIFR, IIT JAM and other exams related to physical science. Okay. So today uh, we are going to discuss uh, optics okay so this is the third part of the op optics uh, this is a sunday uh, special class right uh, the, in last two lectures i have explained uh, uh, the interference of light in detail in two lectures okay and so this is the third uh, lecture of the optics in uh, in which i'm going to discuss uh, polarization of light in detail okay so also i would request uh, the students who haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe my channel and watch my free live lectures which are going to help you to crack the exams related to physical science okay so i'm going to start but before starting let me just check uh, whether i'm audible or not okay in uh, in which i'm going to discuss yes uh, i am audible so i'm going to proceed further okay Okay, so polarization of light. This is the third uh, lecture of optics, polarization of light. I will take uh, optics classes every Sunday and I will complete uh, uh, the optics. Okay, so today we are, uh, uh, I'm going to discuss polarization of light in detail okay so polarization of light guys okay so we know light is electromagnetic wave okay em wave <coughs> light is em wave okay and we know uh, this one i'll make a diagram okay this is z axis this is y axis and this is x axis okay so this one okay so this is the one okay so light is electromagnetic wave okay and this is the direction of propagation of uh, wave okay light and uh, here we know E that is electric field is perpendicular to wave vector, okay, and uh, electric field is also perpendicular to uh, B magnetic field, and uh, B is perpendicular to A wave vector, okay. So, this is electric field. This is magnetic field and this is the propagation of light, right? A vector, which, which tells the direction of light, okay? So, this is the electromagnetic wave, right? Okay. So, now I will write the definition. So, restricting, 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 the oscillation the oscillations of oscillations of electric field vector or electric field okay in a light in a light only in one direction only in only in one plane only in one plane is known is known as polarization polarization and and plane of 
plane of vibration plane of vibration of electric field is called is called plane of polarization plane of polarization okay so this is restricting the oscillation of electric field in a light okay so so there is a electric field vectors in light right uh, here electric field vectors in light uh, light okay so restricting those uh, uh, those oscillate oscillations okay uh, in in only one plane is known as polarization of light okay so we have uh, so we have take uh, so we have restricted uh, the oscillations of electric field in only one plane okay so that is called polarization of light and that plane uh, in which those uh, that plane which contains those vibration is called uh, plane of polarization okay plane of polarization okay so this is the definition okay now unpolarized light unpolarized light unpolarized unpolarized light unpolarized light the vibrations of electric field are possible in all direction okay the vibration the vibrations of electric field vector electric field are possible are possible in all direction in all direction okay so the vibration of electric field <coughs> are possible in all direction like if you talk like this okay so this is this is unpolarized light right so the the vibration are uh, possible in all directions so, vib vibrations are in all directions okay so this is unpolarized light and it is denoted like this okay so it is denoted uh, like this uh, this one. so the unpolar unpolarized light in plane is denoted by like this okay so this is unpolarized light unpolarized light okay so this is unpolarized light you can see here unpolarized light okay and this is the direction of propagation okay direction of propagation of light direction of the propagation direction of the propagation direction of the propagation okay so this is unpolar unpolar polarized light okay it is denoted like this next a polarized light polarized light okay polarized light so this is a uh, polarized light is you know uh, uh, is denoted as like this okay in one plane so this is the polarized light and this is the direction of propagation okay so this is polarized light polarized light okay so this is polarized light and this is direction of propagation okay now uh, linearly polarized light so this is the polarized light and linearly polarized light linearly polarized light 
so linearly polarized light is this okay i'll show you direction of oscillations are perpendicular to plane of incidence okay so this is this is the direction of propagation this is the linearly polarized light guys okay so this is a linearly polarized light okay linearly polarized light okay now i'll make a uh, two column okay so here i'll write circularly polarized light Cir circularly 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 polarized light circularly polarized light and this is a uh, elliptically polarized light okay the difference elliptically 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 polarized light circularly polarized light and elliptically polarized light okay and circularly polarized light in short we say cpl and elliptically polarized light we say epl okay epl epl and cpl okay so so definition is electric field oscillating electric field oscillating electric field oscillating in a plane electric field oscillating in a plane okay electric field oscillating in a plane and plane of vibration and the plane the plane of vibration okay and the plane of vibration in the plane in which the vibration are happening okay plane of vibration is is either is either clockwise or anti clockwise okay acw means anti clockwise cw means clockwise in a circular manner in a circular manner okay so circularly polarized light is electric electric field oscillating in a plane and the plane of vibration plane and plane of vibration is either clockwise or anti clockwise in a circular manner okay like this okay either this is anti clockwise okay and this is clockwise this is clockwise okay and for epl electric field vector electric field oscillate uh, oscillating oscillating electric field oscillating in a plane in a plane and the plane and the plane and the plane of vibration plane of vibration plane of vibration is either clockwise or anti clockwise in an in an elliptical manner okay elliptical manner so uh, electric field oscillating in a plane and the plane of vibration where uh, the vibration are happening that plane is either clockwise or anti clockwise in a elliptical manner okay in a elliptical manner so means like this is clockwise and this is anti clockwise anti clockwise okay so this this is circular circularly polarized light and this is elliptically polarized light okay next point
मेथड्स ऑफ पोलराइजेशन ओके मेथड्स ऑफ पोलराइजेशन मेथड्स ऑफ पोलराइजेशन मेथड्स ऑफ पोलराइजेशन मेथड्स ऑफ पोलराइजेशन सो सो so i'll tell you the methods of pol polarization by which we can polar uh, we can get polarized light okay number 1 by reflection we can get it by reflection by reflection number 2 uh, by refraction by refraction number 3 by double refraction by by double refraction by double refraction number 4 by decroism 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 by decroism by decroism by decroism okay and uh, number 5 scattering okay by scattering in this way we can get polarized light okay next is polarization by reflection very important by reflection polarization by reflection <coughs> polarization by reflection okay so this is very important guys these are straight line guys consider them straight line okay so this is air this is medium air medium okay this is glass and uh, for for air mu1 is refractive index is 1 and for glass mu2 uh, uh, this is uh, mu2 refraction in uh, refractive refractive index is mu okay so this is unpolarized light i have already explained how to represent unpolarized light okay so this is this is unpolarized light this is unpolarized light okay this angle is ip okay this is called uh, uh, brewster angle okay ip or uh, this is angle of refractive refraction that is r okay and uh, this is a uh, refl uh, reflected light reflected light okay this is reflected light which is polarized okay polarized so by reflection okay this is polarized and this is
okay this is refracted light okay refracted light so that is a partially polarized okay partially partially polarized partially polarized okay refracted light partially polarized okay so this is the reflected polarized light this is partially polarized this is medium air this is glass okay and refractive indexes are given right so now now this is going to be that uh, we know 10 ip that is brewster angle okay 10 ip this is called brewster angle 10 ip uh, is mu2 upon mu1 okay and mu2 upon mu1 is given that is mu upon 1 right so 10 ip is going to be uh, mu is mu mu1 is 1 because uh, the refractive index of air is 1 right so 10 ip 10 ip is mu okay so from here ip is going to be ip is going to be 10 inverse mu okay and ip is called ip is brewster angle okay b r e w s t e r s brewster's angle brewster's angle brewster's angle okay so this is the ip brewster's angle very important formula you need to note down okay and there are some properties of it which i'm going to write brewster angle and that is refract uh, reflected light reflected light reflected uh, refra reflected light light and refracted and refracted light refracted uh, reflected right uh, light and refracted light are perpendicular to each other are are perpendicular are perpendicular to each other okay that is this one this angle the refracted light and refracted light okay this angle is 90 degree okay right it may not it may not looking uh, like that uh, but i i would say this is 90 degree okay uh, and these are straight lines guys okay so consider them a straight line and this angle is 90 okay okay so uh, ref uh, reflected light and refracted light are perpendicular to each other means their angle between them is 90 degree right second point is reflected uh, light is reflected reflected light reflected light is polarized polarized reflect uh, ref, uh, reflected light is polarized and the vibrations the vibrations so this one okay reflected light is polarized and the vibration vibrations are along the vibrations are and vibrations are perpendicular perpendicular to the plane of incidence perpendicular to the plane of incidence okay so uh, reflected light is polarized and uh, the vibrations are perpendicular to the plane of incidence okay so this is plane polarized and the vibrations are perpendicular to the plane of incidence okay this is plane of incidence okay so these are perpendicular to this plane okay so this is about reflection of light next point 
नेक्स्ट इज पोलराइजेशन बाई पोलराइजेशन बाई रिफ्रैक्शन ओके पोलराइजेशन 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 बाई रिफ्रैक्शन पोलराइजेशन बाई रिफ्रैक्शन ओके पोलराइजेशन बाई रिफ्रैक्शन सो पॉइंट इज इन द इन द ट्रांसमिटेड लाइट इन द ट्रांसमिटेड transmitted light okay that is refracted light okay transmitted light which, which is partially polarized right if you talk about here so this is the transmitted light and which is partially polarized okay so we are talking about that so in the transmitted light after multiple reflection right after multiple after multiple refraction in the transmitted light okay after multiple ref, uh, ref, uh, refraction after multiple uh, reflection my apology it's refraction the vibrations the vibration uh, vibrations are along the plane of incidence plane of incidence okay so it is saying in the transmitted light after multiple uh, refraction so so with the transmitted light which we have got we uh, we, uh, we have uh, taken that through multiple refractions and then we got the vibrations the vibrations of those uh, uh, that light along the uh, plane along the plane of incidence okay and we get the polarized light okay so the procedure is uh, in this way like this this is a straight line okay and this is uh, this is uh, unpolarized light okay now okay so this is the process of light this one this is i p okay this is i p one and then this goes like this we are reflecting the light multiple times okay this is one in this way by uh, by multiple reflection we get the plane polarized light which is along the uh, along the plane of incidence okay so this is polarization by reflection next okay next is
पोलराइजेशन बाय डबल रिफ्लेक्शन ओके पोलराइजेशन बाय पोलराइजेशन पोलराइजेशन बाय डबल रिफ्लेक्शन डबल पोलराइजेशन बाय डबल रिफ्लेक्शंस डबल रिफ्रैक्शंस माय अपॉलॉजी इट इज डबल रिफ्रैक्शंस ओके सो लाइक क्रिस्टल्स क्रिस्टल्स सच एज कैलसाइट कैलसाइट क्वार्ड्स क्वार्ड्स सेक्ट्रा राइट दीज आर क्रिस्टल ओके when these crystals okay when a light when a light refracted when a light refracted when a light refracted through refracted through these crystals that is calcite or quartz okay etc so these crystals when light is uh, refracted through these crystals it splits it this crystal okay splits this splits into okay it splits okay that a uh, light splits into two rays two rays of equal intensity of equal intensity equal inten intensity or equal intensities equal in intensities okay with perpendicular vibration with with perpendicular vibration okay so when a uh, light refracted through these uh, these crystals it splits into two rays of equal intensities with perpendicular vibrations okay okay so i'll show you so now number 1 it will split into o ray that is uh, o ray okay that is called that is or ordinary ray ordinary ray ordinary ray okay does not follow the uh, this ordinary ray follows okay follows follows the laws of refraction laws of refraction okay so ordinary ray follows the laws of refraction second is e ray that is extra ordinary ray extra extra ordinary ray extra ordinary ray okay so this does not follow this doesn't follow this doesn't follow follow uh the laws of refraction follow the laws of refraction okay so so this is by double uh, refraction right just give me one second so it is or it is uh, so extra ordinary ray doesn't follows the laws of refraction okay next so i'll give you example that is uh, for nicol nicol uh, prism okay nicol prism nicol prism uh 
okay so nicole prism i'll show you the uh, that is uh, polarization by double refraction okay so this is the nicole prism okay and this is the one straight line Okay, and this is calcite. Calcite. This is calcite, and It is, and this is ore. Total internal. This is total internal uh, ref uh, reflection. Okay, reflection. Total internal reflection. Okay. So this is the calcite crystal that is nickel prism. Okay, so this is uh, made of calcite, right? So uh, this is unpolar polarized light. Uh, it passes through this. It splits light into two uh, two components of equal intensity. This is the uh, this one we get extraordinary rays, which is uh, completely polarized. Okay, this is completely polarized. This is completely polarized. Okay, and this is the ordinary ray. Okay, and then this this happens. This is internal uh, reflection. Okay, so internally reflect after reflection, we get this ordinary ray. Okay, I'll show you. So this is uh, this is the uh, double reflection. Okay, and I'll show you it by figure as well, like this, ordinary ray and extraordinary ray. Okay, so this is the This is the uh, uh, this is the curve. Uh, okay, this is the crystal. This is crystal. Okay, and the light comes here. Okay, and this is. Ordinary ray. Okay. Ore, and uh, this is okay. So this is E ray, E ray, which is completely polarized. Okay, complete, completely. Polarized. Okay, so th uh, this is so this is the ray which passes through the crystal. Okay, and we get uh, ordinary ray and uh, that uh, E ray, and E ray is completely polarized. Okay, and uh, this is the calcite crystal and nickel prism, and we passes through the light here, and it split it splitted light into two parts, and one is. Uh, 
extraordinary extraordinary ray which is completely polarized light and this is uh, ordinary ray which uh, which we get by internal reflection okay total internal internal reflection well now uh, polar, polarization polarization by uh, decruism okay polarization polarization by decru by decru by decruism okay polarization by decruism polarization by decruism so this is some crystals some crystals have properties some crystals have properties of properties of observing 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 vibrations vibra uh, vibrations in perpendicular direction perpendicular direction with with penetration okay with penetration okay so some crystals have properties of of observing vibrations okay in perpendicular direction with penetration okay so i'll show you this polarization by decruism okay this is the crystal okay and uh, from here we have passed unpolarized light unpolarized light okay and then this this and we've got here this is polarized light okay so uh, this is uh, this is the polar we get the polarized light by decruism okay next next is next is very important this is malus law okay malus law malus law malus law okay so this is I'll, I'll i'll explain so first i'll explain this polaroid what is polaroid okay polaroid polaroid a polaroid a polaroid a polaroid only only allows only allows those vibration those vibration a polaroid only allows those vibrations to pass through to pass through to pass through which have which have vibrational plane which have vibrational plane vibrational plane along the transmission along the transmission along the transmission along the transmission axis of polaroid transmission axis of polaroid okay so polaroid is a polaroid 
only allows those vibrations okay only allows those vibrations whose plane whose plane is along the along the along the transmission axis of the polaroid okay so uh, only those uh, vibration the polaroid will allow i'll explain it by example okay then it will be easy so this is the axis okay this one so this is unpolarized light okay unpolarized light okay and this is the transmission axis of the polaroid okay so the unpolar uh, unpolarized light passes through only only those vibration uh, will be passed from the polaroid which are whose plane is along the plane of transmission axis okay so this is the transmission axis only uh, the uh, vibration will be parallel to this transmission axis only only those uh, vibration will be will will uh, will allow will be allowed to pass through okay so this is uh, this is the one and uh, here i not is greater than i okay i is uh, after transmission okay intensity after transmission so this is the polaroid okay next uh i'll show you one i'll give you one more example like this so we have this polaroid like this okay so so this is the uh, polarized light okay this is the plane this is the polarized light okay and this is the uh, rectangular okay and this is the transmission this is the transmission uh, axis that is 45 angle okay px transmission axis of the polaroid right then uh, this polarized uh, so we'll get po polarized light okay whose uh, directions will be parallel to the transmission axis okay so because polaroid will pass only those vibrations uh, right whose plane is uh, along the along the transmission axis okay so because this is the transmission axis so this type of vibration we have will get okay this one now malus law that is we know that is a that amplitude uh, amplitude square is a not cos square theta or equal to or we can say i i t that is uh, intensity after transmission is equal to i not cos square theta okay i not cos square theta so this is the malus Mal malus law guys okay this is the malus law malus okay uh, this is the malus law okay so transmission intensity of transmission uh, transmitted uh, vibration or light is is equal to i not cos square theta this is the intensity of light intensity of incident uh, light okay so this is i t equal to i not cos square theta okay very important and if if theta equal to pi by 2 in that case i t intensity of uh, light after transmission okay it is going to be zero because cost uh, cost 90 is zero okay let me just check well this is the uh, malus law and uh, also it equal to zero so it equal to i not cos square theta so we'll solve question as well next is next also unpolarized light like this one right
so this is unpolarized light okay and what we have done is so only this is the theta okay so this is transmission axis px okay so here we will get like this these are the polarized light polarized light and the intensity of this is going to be i not by q okay 45 right i not by I not by two, okay, and uh, and we know that un the uh, the vibrations of unpolarized light are uh, possible in all direction. Okay, so this is the unpolarized light. Okay, so this is the polarized light. Okay, well, and uh, so I T that is intensity of transmitted light. is because we know right i t equal to i naught cos square theta right and the theta is between 0 to 2 pi okay and here i t is we have got i t is i naught by 2 okay this is the one next very important i'm going to tell you a one trick okay which is very important and by which you can solve many questions okay so this is and i'll solve uh, questions uh, for those as well superposition 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 of superposition of electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves which are which are superposition of electromagnetic waves which are in different which are in different which are in different state different state of polarization this different state of polarized polarization okay so superposition of electromagnetic waves which are in different state of polarization okay so i'm going to tell you the trick uh, then uh, you can easily solve uh, so you need to uh, note down the trick and uh, memorize it because you can solve many questions if you know the tricks okay so so i'll list that trick you need to note down okay so suppose we have given let we have given uh, e not 1 okay e not 1 we have given e not 1 the one one uh, the uh, electric field vector of uh, one uh, electromagnetic wave this is given e not e to the power iota kz minus omega t you need to note down it okay and very carefully you need to uh, uh, you, know, you have to pay attention very carefully okay let e, e not 1 equal to this and e not 2 equal to this is e not and this is the direction x cap okay e not e to the power iota z minus omega t plus phi phi is the uh, difference uh, that is phase difference okay into y cap so uh, this uh, the, the direction of this electric field is x cap and uh, direction of this electric field is y cap. so what we'll do is uh, this is a trick okay what we will do first we'll find that uh, uh, total electric field okay so this is going to be e1 naught plus 
e one two naught, right? So e is going to be. We'll put the value. So this is uh, so we'll add it, right? So this is going to be e one e naught plus uh, e naught e to the power phi e to the power iota phi e to the power iota phi. This is e naught. X cap. Okay, we have added these two equation one and two. Equation one. This is equation two. Okay, so this is e naught x cap plus e naught e to the power uh, i theta uh, y cap, and this is going to be e to the power iota k z minus omega. Okay, so what we have done, this is e to the power. So this is e to the power iota k z minus omega t plus phi, right? We can write it e to the power iota phi into e to the power k z minus omega t, right? And then we have taken this common because this is common here. So uh, e e not x cap and e not e to the power i theta y cap is remain. Okay, so this is the total e. Okay, next. Uh, next uh, will. Uh, There are different cases, okay? Different cases. Number one is so all these points uh, must must uh, you need to uh, note down, okay? Because if you know these points, then you can easily solve questions, okay? So this is the trick, and you need to very important thing. You can solve many questions, okay? Uh, which will be uh, related to polar polarization, okay? Well, so this is the one now. Case one is if E one not or E not two means E one not or E E not two equal to zero. If it is zero, then this implies plane polarized light (EPL). Plane polarized light, oblique linearly plane polarized light. Okay, LPPL linearly plane polarized light. If this is the case. Okay, so if you have been given two electromagnetic waves, right, and you need to find out whether they are plane polarized or linearly polarized, and uh, if E E one not and E one not either of one is zero, then we can easily say by trick this is plane polarized or linearly polarized light. Okay, so this is uh, E one not, and this is E one E two not. So this is this is uh, E one not and E E two not is mod of this. Okay. Next, number two. Number two. If both, if if both electric field vectors, electric field vectors, if both electric field vectors are are in the same direction, are in the same direction, same. i will solve question then it will clear your all doubts guys okay so in in same direction okay so uh, so it mean it means the uh, light is ppl plane polarized okay oblique linearly plane linearly plane polarized light okay so this is the second one second point if both ef vector are in the same direction suppose this is x direction this is y direction okay if it is also in x direction it is also in x direction it means or it is only also in y direction it is in y direction this means uh, we can directly say that that the uh, the, uh, the light is plane polarized or linearly polarized okay uh, and it doesn't matter okay whatever 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 the phase difference whatever the phase difference phase difference doesn't matter whatever the phase di uh, phase difference is that doesn't matter if they are in the same direction means the light is plane polarized or linearly polarized i hope you understood it okay now third third point is if if both electric field electric field vectors okay if both electric field vectors are 
are in different direction are in are in different directions okay if both electric field vectors are in different directions okay <clears throat> and T not one equal to T not two. Okay. T not one equal to E not two, right? So in that case, we can say uh, this is plane polarized light. Okay, plane polarized. I'm writing in short. You need to know it. Okay, so plane polarized. Plane. Polarized light. Okay, I'll give. I'll solve questions, examples. Then it will clear your all doubts. So this is if e one not equal to e two not the, uh, the mod of this is equal and both electric field vectors are in different direction in that case and e one not equal to e two not then uh, this is plane polarized light. Fourth point. If Fourth point is if phi equal to zero, if phi equal to zero or pi, okay, and this if phi equal to zero or pi, that implies the light is plane polarized, plane polarized, okay, and that doesn't matter. So whatever the whatever whatever the e1 not and e2 not so that that value doesn't matter if phi equal to 0 pi right or 0 pi uh, 2 pi right then this is uh, 3 pi then this is uh, plane polarized okay next is number point number 4 Point number four is this is if phi equal to zero or pi, then it's plane polarized. Okay, number four is sorry, fifth. Fifth is if value of phi is n pi by two, n pi by two, and n is odd number. Okay. N pi by two and n is odd number means pi by two, three pi by two, uh, five pi by two, seven pi by two. Okay, if five value is this, then there are cases, guys. Okay, then there are cases which I'm going to discuss. So if uh, this this is the uh, phase difference, okay, one uh, pi, uh, three pi by two, four pi by two, and e not one equal to e not two. If e not one equal to e not two, then uh, this is going to be circularly polarized cpl i'm writing in short guys okay cpl means circularly polarized okay it is circularly polarized okay and uh, and value of theta if theta value is like this theta value is 3 pi by 7 or i, I 3 pi by 7 or i can say this will be the, uh, easy okay so uh, value of n is 1 3 5 9 okay so one five sorry one five one five nine so three seven these will be excluded okay so uh, one five nine one five nine and so on or we can write like it is in the form of four m minus one okay m equal to one to two okay in that case that means phi value is uh, three pi by two comma five pi by two comma 9 pi by 2 9 pi by 2 so on then it is then if value is like this then it is rcpl right circularly uh, right circularly polarized guys okay and if e1 e not equal to e2 e not okay and uh, and this one I'll write here. So if okay, 
similarly if value of n is value of n is uh, 3 7 11 so on right so we can write it, it is it would be in the form of 4m plus 1 okay in that case value of phi is going to be 3 pi by 2 7 pi by 2 uh, and 11 pi by 2 so on right i will solve questions then it is going to clear your doubt okay so in that case but you need to uh, learn this trick guys okay so the, in that case uh, the uh, polarization is going to be uh, l left circularly polarized okay l c p l okay so if it is 1 5 9 or if if it, if it is this is m plus 1 guys m plus 1 okay and this is 4m minus 1 okay so then it is left circularly polarized this is the first case second case second case is so if theta equal to that this one n pi by 2 right n pi by 2 and uh, e1 not this is the first case okay case first for pi okay and this is uh, case second of 5 case second of 5 okay so this is if uh, uh, phi equal to n pi by 2 and e1 not not equal to e12 okay if this is not equal okay and in that case if phi value is uh, pi pi by 2 pi pi by 2 and uh, pi pi by 2 9 pi by 2 so on that is in the form 4m plus 1 okay so in that case uh, this is going to be right 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 elliptically polarized right elliptically polarized okay REPL okay REPL this is going to be REPL that is right circular uh, right elliptically polarized I can write it right elliptically right elliptically polarized light okay right ell elliptically polarized light and similarly e1 e not uh, not equal to uh, e not 2 right and value of phi is this by 3 pi by 2 uh, 9 uh, 3 3 then 7 pi by 2 and 11 pi by 2 7 pi by 2 so on in that case this is lepl right left elliptically polarized means here the value of n is going to be for this case value of n is going to be 3 uh, 7 11 okay and here the value of this for right circularly polar, polarized value of n is going to be 1 then 5 then 5 then 9 so on okay so this is the case of elliptically polarized and uh, circularly polarized light right circularly polarized left circularly polarized right elliptically polarized left electrically uh, elliptically polarized okay next next point this is uh, fifth right next is sixth point sixth is these are all points you need you sh this should be in your mind guys for solving questions okay if phi not equal to if phi not equal to 0 if phi is not 0 pi by 2 comma uh, pi and then 3 pi by 2 comma 4 pi by 2 and so on right and in that case 
skip uh, five values not uh, among these okay so in that case and even not not equal to e, 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 e not two okay so in that case if five values not uh, among them so in that case it will always it will always be elliptically polarized elliptically polarized elliptically polarized okay so even if even not equal to e not 2 okay e not 1 even these are equal right if even not equal to e, e not 2 still if values are not among them then uh, this is going to be this uh, it will always be elliptically polarized okay epl epl elliptically polarized so if by by checking angle you can easily find out okay next point next point is if frequencies of frequencies if frequencies of both waves both both waves are different if frequency is different for both waves okay different then in that case light is unpolarized okay then implies unpolarized light unpolarized light okay so this is the trick guys uh, so this one from here this is trick okay these are the trick points all points should be in your mind okay and then you can easily solve questions so i will apply this trick and solve the question okay so i'm uh, going to start with first question question is we have been given e we have been given e equal to e not e equal to e not e equal to e not x cap plus y cap okay e to the power iota kz minus omega t okay so this is given and we need to find out it is uh, elliptically polarized, circularly polarized, or um, or left circularly polarized, or plane polarized. Which light it, it is? Okay, so we need to find out. So how how to find this with this trick, which I'm going to explain. Okay, this one. So we'll compare this with the uh, that is the uh, general equation. This is this one. Okay, so we have this e naught x cap, e naught y cap. This one with this. Okay, so we'll write this first. So that we can compare okay so we have a general equation for electric field that total electric field that is e equal to e naught x cap plus uh, e naught y cap e naught y cap e naught e to the power e naught e to the we will write this general equation first okay e naught e to the power iota phi iota phi uh, y cap into e to the power iota kz minus omega t okay this equation i'll show you again this equation okay okay well so we have now we'll compare it right by comparing with this equation okay comparing by comparing you can see that here uh, e to the power i phi e to the power i phi value is 1 right e to the power i phi value is 1 right because we, uh, this uh, compare with this this is 1 y and e naught right e naught 2 e to the power i phi equal to 1 and this means and also uh, we will find the mod of this one okay so e1 naught e2 naught e1 naught this is we can write in two separate parts right so mod of e1 not equal to uh, e1 not equal to e not 2 even e sorry my apology it's e not 1 equal to e not 2 
right because uh, this uh, this is one and this is also one going to be one okay this one this is one this is one okay so e not one equal to e not two first condition second here uh, this value of one we know e to the power i pi value is e to the power uh, 2n pi iota 2n pi right and if from here we can get pi equal to uh, 2n pi okay and it means value of pi is going to be 0 2 pi 4 pi so on right so here you can see e1 not equal to e2 not this uh, these values equal right and uh, and and this value theta value is 0 2 pi yeah, right so it means this is plane polarized light guys plane polarized light i'll show you here this one this point first point this e1 not equal to e2 uh, so this If both vectors are in different directions, okay, and E1, yeah, if both vectors are in different direction and E1 not equal to E2, then plane polarized light, okay. So, this one, the, the direction is different, right. So, plane polarized light, and uh, this is also, and theta value is phi 0, okay. So, from this point, this is the plane polarized light, guys, okay. So, we can, we have, so we have easily find out, right because e1 not equal to e2 not so plane polarized light okay next and value of phi equal to 0 2 pi 4 pi okay next next uh, question is simple we have been given e equal to e not x cap minus y cap okay e to the power iota kz minus omega t right again we will compare with a general equation that is e equal to e naught x cap plus uh, plus e to the power i phi y cap into e to the power iota kz minus omega t right so here you can uh, uh, you can see e to the power and uh, and also we will find out e not 1 and e not 2 and this is equal right this one equal because e, e not e not 1 equal to e not 2 and then uh, e to the power i phi is going to be equal to uh, this is going to be equal to values are this is this is going to be equal to 1 uh, my apologies this is minus 1 okay minus 1 so this implies value of uh, value of uh, that this implies e to the power I, iota phi is going to be e to the power iota 2n plus 1 pi right because we know here value of 1 equal to e to the power iota 2n pi and value of minus 1 equal to e to the power iota 2n plus 1 pi okay this if you don't know note down okay so from here uh, the pi value is going to be 2n plus 1 pi right and then by pi value is going to be uh, this is uh, pi 3 pi okay 0 this is going to be pi 3 pi and uh, this is uh, pi pi so on right so if if these are the angle if uh, we get angle pi 2 pi or uh, sorry uh, angle 0 pi 2 pi or like this pi 3 pi 7 uh, 5 pi so on and uh, e1 not equal to e2 not it that implies this is plane polarized light okay plane ppl plane polarized light so this is how we, we get it okay next point Next point is time is already already over, but I will finish. Okay, everything. Don't worry about it. So this is next is 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ई इक्वल टू ई नॉट एक्स कैप प्लस आई वाई कैप ओके एंड ई टू दावर माइनस के जेड माइनस ओमेगा टी दिस क्वेश्चन इज गिवन ओके वी हैव टू फाइंड विच टाइप ऑफ पोलराइजेशन इट इज ओके सो सिंपल अगेन विल कंपेयर दिस विथ जनरल इक्वेशन दैट इज वी नो ई नॉट एक्स कैप प्लस वाई कैप जी दिस इज e to the power i phi y cap right and e to the power iota kz minus omega t okay from here you can see uh, and also so here right and from here uh, e1 not equal to e not 2 right e not 1 equal to e not 2 we can easily find out and now from here e to the power i phi is going to be equal to this i i i right or here we have to uh, I'll, i'll show you one that if iota means very important guys you need to note down i'm going to uh, write in red okay iota value is e to the power iota n pi by 2 where value of n is uh value of n is 1 comma 5 comma 9 so on okay if uh, minus iota is here then it is going to be iota n pi by 2 this value same but value of n is going to be 3 7 11 so on this is very important guys okay note down next uh, so from here a uh, value of pi i'll write e to the power i phi is going to be e to the power iota n phi by 2 so phi value is going to be n phi by 2 okay and here we can see Value of n is one one five nine, right? That is in form of four m plus one, right? So it means this is an e one not equal to e two not. This is right circularly polarized. Okay, right circularly polarized. Here at this point, I'll show you this one. This one, okay, e one not equal to e two not, and uh, and uh, and then will five value is. Uh, five value is this one, three pi five by two, right? Uh, this uh, this we have done some mistake here. This is five by two, five by by two, and uh, uh, then nine pi by two. Okay, so these are so this is right circularly polarized. Okay, so right circularly polarized. Okay, very good question. Next question. Next question is same. That is e equal to e not x minus i y cap e to the power iota k z minus omega t. Right from here, uh, we'll compare with. I'm directly going to compare. Then, then we know e not e not e not one equal to e not two. Now I'm writing directly. Right, and this value is going to be e to the power i phi. This value is going to be uh, minus i, right? This is minus i. By comparing minus i, simply and uh, my, my apologies. This is minus i. Minus i. Okay. So it means this value we know e to the power iota uh, n pi by two, and value of n is A value of n is going to be here three, seven, eleven, so on, right? The seven, eleven, four, eleven means four m minus one, right? E one not equal to e e not one equal to e not two, so this means and this value is n equal to three seven five, so it means so value of pi is going to be three pi by two, seven pi by two, eleven pi by two. So on, right? It means left circularly polarized light. Here, I'll show you this point. This one, value three pi seven pi by two. So this is left circularly polarized. Okay, 
left circularly polarized next question guys next question next question is uh, this is e equal to e not x cap plus e to the power iota pi by 4 y cap e to the power iota kz minus omega t okay so i'm just telling you how to apply those uh, those tricks which i have mentioned okay so here uh, again uh, so e1 not equal to e e not 1 equal to uh, right so here we'll check so here you can see uh, from if we compare e to the power i phi is going to be e to the power iota pi by 4 right and phi is uh, then value of phi is going to be pi by 4 so we, we have uh, i have written this point guys very important point this one point 6 if phi uh, is not equal to 0 pi by 2 pi 3 by uh, pi 2 and this okay it is not this and uh, and apart from this uh, there would be any value of uh, phi in that case it will always be elliptically polarized even if e not uh, equal to uh, this or not okay this one just wait guys even if this equal or not okay that that, that doesn't matter even it is equal still okay so in this case you can see uh, a5 by 4 so directly we can write elliptically polarized epl elliptically polarized okay uh, doesn't matter if this is equal or not even if even if e not 1 equal to e not 2 okay here we can see this, this is not equal okay if even if it is equal this is going to be it is equal still this is epl elliptically polarized elliptically polarized polarized okay polarized because phi is value is pi by 4 that doesn't come in uh, 0 pi pi by 2 3 pi by 2 4 pi by 2 right so on okay very simple one but trick if you know the trick then you would be able to solve questions easily okay next is there is uh, one question question is uh, we have been given e equal to uh, e not e to the power iota kz minus omega t x cap is the direction plus e not e to the power iota kz minus 2 omega t y cap okay so we need to find uh, the, the polarization of light uh, what type of polarization is there okay see we can see i have already written the point if frequencies are not uh, f1 equal to omega and f2 equal to 2 omega here you can see frequencies are not equal it means this uh, light is unpolarized this light is unpolarized unpolarized okay this light is unpolarized i have written in this point i'll show you the point number seven or six this one six okay if uh, this one seven this point so if frequencies of both waves are different then unpolarized light okay so directly we have solved this question next is next question is e equal to given e equal to given e not e not x cap plus e not x cap okay e to, e to the power iota kz minus omega t so here uh, very simple guys directions are same i have already told you if directions are same it means uh, this is uh, 
this is directions are same let me just check what is this if directions are same then plane polarized light okay so directions x cap x cap okay directions are same so it is plane polarized light okay plane polarized light next question next next question is e equal to 2e not x cap plus 5e not y cap okay e to the power iota z minus omega t here also you can see e1 e not 1 not equal to e not 2 right there this is different and uh, e to the power i phi equal to 1 1 value we know e to the power 2 n pi right so theta is uh, phi is going to be pi 2 pi okay 4 pi and this is not equal to the okay and and this is not equal right so it means this is plane polarized light okay next is e equal to 2 e naught x cap plus 5 iota e naught y cap into e to the power iota kz minus omega t right if this is in the form and so here we can see e not 1 not equal to e not 2 right because we can see e not 1 equal to 2 e 2 e not and e 2 e not 2 equal to 5 e not right so these are not equal right and e to the power phi i phi equal to e to the power e to the power i phi equal to this is iota right iota and we know this value is e to the power n pi by 2 and the value of n is n equal to uh, 1 5 9 so on so value of phi is going to be pi by 2 5 pi by 2 so on and these, these are not equal right it means right elliptically polarized light okay okay so now here this one okay so okay guys so time is already uh, over so okay guys uh, so I have completed uh, the polarization of light today okay so also uh, now in next lecture which will be in Sunday again next Sunday and uh, I will call I will I will explain diffraction of light interference I have already explained polarization I have already uh, I have explained today and in next lecture I am going to explain diffraction and also will solve questions uh, from polarization um, diffraction and interference interference okay so so and i will complete uh, optics uh, uh, okay and uh, and i will take special classes on sunday only but i assure you that i'm going to complete optics as well okay so uh, in five or six lecture the uh, optics is going to be completed after diffraction we'll solve questions guys different questions which were asked in guest net gate iit jam csir net okay and and then the optics will be completed there is a small portion of optics in uh, csir net okay okay guys uh, before ending the uh, class i would request the people who haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe my channel okay and watch my free uh, live lectures which are going to help the students who are preparing for csir net gate and the exam psd exam okay to correct uh, to crack those exams okay guys so thank you so much bye now